Hello everyone, this is Tanaka from Hair and Makeup Zen. Today I would like to introduce a new way of creating the finger wave hairstyle which has been getting pretty popular. In previous videos I've introduced several ways to make finger waves using an iron or a straightening iron. But this time I will show you how to make finger waves using only a hot curler. The overall process and the final look are way more simple than before. It will look like this. I've improved the procedure so that it can be easily matched with a soft look, so I hope you'll use this for reference. Alright, let's check out the steps. First, decide the part line like this. We want it to be as straight as possible. It can be a straight line or a subtle zigzag. Just make sure the front hairline doesn't shift inward like this as you move your way backward. For the width, measure about two to three fingers. In this case, I'll use a width of about two inches. To prevent the surrounding hair from getting mixed in, mask the hair with duckbill clips. After that, take a thin slice of this separated hair bundle. Tuck the roots firmly backward. Then spray the roots of the hair. When spraying, make sure to keep the roots down. Make sure to aim accurately while pulling back. Next, take a thin slice of hair in the same way from the same bundle and blend it into the back of the head. Once you finish doing this all the way to the hairline, Blend everything together first and from the middle of the base press down the roots with a duckbill clip. The part I just worked on was about 2 inches long, but the part I suppressed was about 1 to 1 and a half inches from the hairline. And then, with the hair tucked back like this, curl using a hot curler. When the curler reaches the root, remove the clip from before. Then, curl to the end and secure it with a clip. When doing so, rather than curling it straight across, curl it in the direction you want it to be, like I did here. While it's cooling down, I'll work on styling the sides. If you want to see the how-to for finger wave styling, skip to 432. For now, the style looks like this. We'll start styling with this as the base. To start, remove the hot curler once it's cooled down enough. Combing the roots and letting it down, it should come out like this. From here, I'm going to divide this section into two parts. Once it's lifted up, Starting from the side of the hairline that you will use to make the flow, 
Divide it diagonally across to achieve the two slices as shown. Then divide the slices into the upper and lower sections. First, the roll of the lower section that you just created is to demonstrate an S-shaped flow and give a nice arch at the end, right where I'm pointing. The upper bundle will be for creating the S-shaped curve that my finger is drawing. We will blend it smoothly with the lower curve. I'm going to make the finger waves by overlapping the two S-shaped curves. First, comb the slice just like this. Insert the comb in the middle of the slice and let it slide down a little. If you lift it upward, it will create a ridge with a gentle curve. At this point, while lifting the comb, spray it well from the inside. For this wave sticking out forward, choose a position where you want it to start and fix it with a clip. Once you've clipped it, pinch the part right below the clip and comb it down. Lift the hair up like this and it should create a solid curve that you want. Keeping the wave, spray from the inside just like you did before. After spraying it down, pinch with your fingers right above the comb, and if the hair ends are long enough, make sure to gently comb them. From here, let's take this wavy part and spread it out a little to the side. As for these hair ends, gather them together like the tip of a brush. Again, don't forget to spray it to hold the style in place. For the tips of the hair, pin it back with American pins. Think of this like you're trying to hide it under the surface where people cannot see. Now, remove the top clip. Check to see where the gap is when you look at it from the front and place your finger there. Insert a U-pin right where your finger is. This way it can look nice and tidy. We've managed to create a look where the upper wave will blend in. Now, we're ready to make the main part of the finger wave. The trick to combining this section is to place your palm along the parting line you made before, bring the hair over your hand, and then comb it straight to the side. If you lift your hair upward at this point, like I'm doing right now, you should see the roots standing up. Spray the back side first. And, while being careful not to break the hair flow, place a duck bill clip in the middle of the curve. Once the hair is fixed with the clip, spray the back once again. And then brush it a little further to right about this point. While lifting it up, slightly tilt the comb. This way, tilting it towards the scalp is sufficient enough to form a wave when seeing it from the side. Pressing down with your fingers to adjust the width, use a clip again to fix the hair just below where your finger is. At this time, spray this ridge. and take this duckbill clip suppressing the upper part and move it to the middle of the ridge you just sprayed. From this point, place your fingers under the lower clip, then comb the hair all the way down. Once combed, insert the comb from above and rather than lifting it straight up, move it to the back and a little diagonally. If you do this, you'll see that a ridge has formed here as well. If you raise the angle of your comb just a little bit like this, the ridge will appear more defined. The angle of this comb will be the main way to control the ridges to match the overall style. Spray the back of the hair again. 
Then I'm going to place a new clip right here below the comb. I'm just going to readjust the position a little bit, and then I'll spray this part as well. With this in place, we can now pull out the middle clip away from the top ridge and place it closer to the bottom ridge. Lastly, let's look at the hair tips. For the last time, comb this part. Overlap the tips on top of the big ridge at the bottom. It's merely layering, but if you add a ridge here, it provides a better flow. So make sure to do that here. With either your fingers or a comb, adjust the overlaps from the previous step. To finish this part, blend this thin part of the hair ends into the lower layer of the waves and then spray it to harden. Now, remove the clips in order, starting from the top. When you remove the duckbill clips, there may be a few cases here and there where the clips leave a mark on the surface. But in this case, there doesn't seem to be much of a mark where the clip used to be, right? In order to make the surface look natural, it is very important to spray from the back. That being said, by doing so, you will see no marks on the surface left from the clips. To top it off, spray it to maintain the shape. And that completes this style. So, what did you think? For this finger wave style, I think it's easy to attain the desired look once the base is done. But, if this base is split, it will be more difficult. In that case, you can try changing the parting by getting the roots wet and slicking the hair back to begin. That should make it easier on you. From Hair and Makeup Zen, I've been Tanaka, and I'll see you in the next video. Please subscribe to our channel and give it a thumbs up. I'll see you next time.